I like how we keep it like spicy. Like yeah. it's not it's not the same every time. Mm. Welcome to the JPEG podcast once again. I'm Greg. I'm Jerry. This is episode number thirty six, baby. Yeah. And we got a lot to talk about. Yes. It's the thirty first. We're not recording in time lapse mode. No, we're not recording in time lapse mode. So hopefully the video comes out smooth. Something else will probably happen, but <laughs> you never know. You never know. Like the rain might come and flood your basement. No, I, I I've, I've been checking the good the drain. I was I was planning on messaging you saying, "Did you check the leaves?" <laughs> That's smart of you because <laughs> there was a lot of rain. There was a lot. It was just like a like a downpour. Like somebody hit the fire alarm for this general yeah. region and just water. Yeah, I meant to say when I was driving here too, like there's a, a pipe that drains, I guess, onto the highway and it was just like, yeah, like literally oozing, just spraying. Again, it's another stormy Thursday. Another stormy Thursday is exactly what I thought when I was driving here. It's, I don't know if it's, we just notice it on, that's yeah. on the Thursdays that it's stormy or it's actually tends to be more stormy on Thursdays, but <sighs> stormy podcast Thursdays. It's real to us. It's real and it feels wet. Speaking of which, <laughs> speaking of which, this green screen makes me wet. <laughs> yeah, look good. at this. Props to Greg for putting this thing up on his own own lonesome. It was tough. I was like, man, do I want to surprise Jerry and have it done <laughs> when he gets here, or should I just wait for his help? It looks amazing. It's it's huge, man. It's awesome. Though. Yeah, it, it, yeah. It covers us both. Are are they going to be able to see that? The green screen? Yeah. Or or is something going to be here? I mean, I can make it. Remember, don't don't promise things. <laughs> <laughs> There's potential for us to be on a beach right now. Yeah, or out in the storm that we were talking about. Correct. It <laughs> <is>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. ah! Oh, it's raining. Ah! <laughs> hey, Ed. Hey. <laughs> um. So we, we, there's a lot of gaming news there's a lot going of around. News. Yeah, I know our last podcast we did a lot of games, but we're gonna continue. I don't care. That. Like I just there's, there's, don't care. There's a lot of gaming news. Yeah, there is. Um, one of which I'm gonna start off with is Fallout. Everyone knows the Fallout series. It's Everyone knows it. Post-apocalyptic <laughs> utopian world where you basically dystopian dystopian world where you're put in a pod and or in a um. A vault and you survive the war I guess that was going on you wake up and see your loved one murdered and baby murdered yeah yeah and then and you realize that the vault that you were in they were experimenting on people and stuff like that yeah really weird stuff but anyway Bethesda the makers of the game um, have announced that they're coming out with a Fallout 76 and no that doesn't mean that they just skipped Fallout 4 and went all the way to 76 that means that, oh yeah <laughs> uh, it means that they're going into a specific vault which is vault 76 and i right. i was reading on the article and some videos online um some guy went as far as to like kind of dig into what is the significance of vault 76 and within fallout 3 there's like hidden um information about vault 76 saying like oh really vault 76 is a control um, so out of all the vaults that they have, they have like tests and then they have a handful of control. So I like that they experiment on these other vaults, but they wanted to keep a control vault to see like, oh, this is when we don't do anything to people within the vault. Yeah. And so the, it's kind of, it's very obviously very vague. Uh, we don't know anything about it. We just know that it's set in 2102, which is within the franchise. That's the earliest in the fallout canon. So, um, I guess they're intrigued to see where I'm intrigued to see what kind of how the game is going to be. And like, if it's going to be any different than the other games or if it's just going to bring a whole nother storyline type of thing. Yeah. That's my question. Is this going to be another yeah. like fallout game? Cause it looks the same like setting wise, oh, no. but yeah, we'll see. Um, a lot of people are hyped about it. I mean, it's got all the same lore that fallout has, but it looks interesting. You know where Bethesda Games is? Here. Maryland, actually. Maryland. In Bethesda. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a long time to realize that. I, I didn't know that until one of my um, coworkers that I worked with at Apple, she got a job with Bethesda, and I was like... Oh, wow. Oh, okay. So did she, like, move to California then? And she, like, tagged it in Maryland, and I was like, what? And so I researched it. I was uh, like, uh... <laughs> I yeah, feel it's dumb. Like, it's like the one <laughs> yeah. East Coast major developer. Yeah. Well, another kind of dovetailing on that, not development or game related. It's like, uh, what is it? Five Guys started somewhere close by? I think Arlington. Arlington, yeah. Like one of the original Five locations. Guys. Yeah. Yeah, we had them all here first, suckers. Yeah. So all you suckers in California. Dang, dude. Don't get them that hard. Yo, one of the best coast. Yo, yo, I'm yo. I'm dissing yo. you, but at the same time, I'm not. <laughs> Yo, chill. I've got no chill. Uh, you know, I know. I can see it in your eyes. I can see it in your... Oh, are you crying? Don't cry. I have been working on um, <laughs> crying on command. Yeah. <laughs> I can definitely well up the eyes. Yeah. I can't, I can't get a full stream yet. Them. If you just think about yawning and then you don't yawn, it like brings them on. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how many people we made yawn when Greg did that. Two. Two. <laughs> I think too. <laughs> we have 17 subscribers. I wanted to address that. Okay. Which is, I think, the same amount that we had before, but <laughs> I noticed that we don't have two. So I was kind of pleasantly surprised. Oh, cool. Yeah, we have 17 subscribers. I hope they actually watch. We appreciate all the three of you that do actually watch. Um, I know one watches <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Um, I know. He puts it on his TV. I know Steph is one of those subscribers. I don't know how much she watches. Same with Katie. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't watch at all. I can't account for her, like, for sure. But I try. But, wh you know, whatever. We like all 17 of you. Yeah. And we hope to invite more. <laughs> <laughs> um, Still moving into games, right? Poke Monsters. Yes. So you brought this up last podcast. Yeah, man. And I don't know if you saw it, but did you see the trailer for it? Or, like, the release trailer or anything about it? It's got that, like, wispy anime style. Yeah. I mean, it's it's pretty sick. Um, so not only are they releasing two different versions of the game, I guess, um, but they're also releasing a controller. It's a freaking Pokeball that acts as a controller. And you can throw it, like, pretend like you're throwing it <laughs> oh, to, shit. to catch Pokemon and push a button to lock it. And when you're not playing the game... If you choose what Pokemon you want inside your ball, you can walk around and push the button, and it'll make the sound of that Pokemon. It'll be like, Pika Pika. Yeah, and if you, like, you can stroke it, and it'll, like, be like, no, no. Oh, my God. It's so weird. But That being said, it's cool. It's very cool. <laughs> I want to know your opinion. So they're kind of basing this off of... Leave us a comment down below, please. Yes. <laughs> they're, they're kind of... I want to know your opinion, too. You, oh. Yeah. They're, they're kind of basing this off of Pokemon Go. Like right on, on the right. phone, Ooh. dude. Chill. Oh, sorry, I've got. I need to <laughs> turn up the chill, turn down the not chill. <laughs> um, it's uh, kind of based on Pokemon Go, so we don't really know. Like, obviously, everyone's dream is to have like a Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow, Gold, and Silver version on the Switch, right? But I don't know if that's what's actually coming to the Switch. I feel like they're just making an extension of Pokemon Go. Where you just you just catch shit. That's you don't really you, like you walk around. They showed it in the trailer. You're walking around, but you actually see the Pokemon that you're walking near. You don't like run through grass. So I was reading something else about yeah. this, and somebody commented that very thing. Yeah, and it was sort of like, you know, this is like not the full feature Pokemon game that you guys are expecting it to be. Yeah, because exactly what you were saying. It's sort of like a. Pokemon Go on steroids or something like that. You, like, run over to this area because you see an Articuno over there, and everyone's going to run over there and try and catch it. And Right. So, like, that's not the kind of Pokemon. Everybody's going to start hitting their each other with the Pokeball. Yeah. They try, to <laughs> try to catch it. This is pretty cool, though. I see it. It's like a the button is also a joystick, for I'm the, assuming. Yeah, for the remote. Yep, so the button's a joystick. They came up with specs for it on the Pokemon website. At the top <laughs> is a button itself. Um, Pokemon.com? Uh, uh, it's like Pikachu Let's Go slash remote or something like that oh well but, but basically it shows like kind of all the cool features that it has um, but yeah I, I was kind of excited for it just because it's a pokemon game for the switch and that's what everyone's kind of been wanting for a while 
but I just hope they don't ruin it. I hope they don't ruin it for everyone with setting an expectation and then we just like so hopefully they learn from pokemon go because that died in a year totally just complete drop off less than a year too um and if it doesn't do well at least it's not like the full-on rpg pokemon game that yeah you know we're hoping for totally totally so yeah so we'll see what comes of that um they're actually also announcing that this game is going to have the most units available for sale, like over 600,000 At units uh, launch? At launch. And to put it in perspective, in the article, they said that Super Mario Odyssey had like 300, uh huh, which sold tons, yeah. obviously, but it only had 300 at launch. So this is going to be like the highest. That's a lot. Yeah, that's cool. A lot of units on launch day. So many many units many units yes oh dude yeah some of the best music from back in the day was Mega Man 2 yes so the next thing we have here on the on our list is um, Mega Mega Man Man 11 yeah (laughs) (laughs) that's nine Mega Man 11 additional Mega Mans yeah Um, so they're going to be releasing it on October 2nd which is pretty exciting Um, I know it's kind of a distance away but they were re- like showing some video of two different boss fights about it it was like um fuse man and rock man and stuff and it's kind of like a 3d like three-dimensional but still sort of side scroller mega man and 2.5d uh, yeah it's awesome i think it looks really cool um i guess uh gamestop already sold out of the amiibo limited edition i it. wanted that did you well, the already, amiibos they already sold out yeah so it's exciting i don't know are you are you would you get that for the switch if it came out i mean it's i don't know yeah i think it might be coming out for the ps4 but i'm not exactly sure did you like those side scroller Mega Man games they were hard they are very hard very hard very hard and i, I mean just because something's hard doesn't mean i won't play it i sure. just you know I played Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight? Yeah. Do you ever play that? Mm-mm. It's basically like a Nintendo game redone for like every platform recently. Okay. So it was like a lot like the original Mega Man. Interesting. Like and it just gets frustrating because you, you just keep trying things over and over again. You keep dying to figure out how to pass the level. and Yeah. And there's just like, I could see how it'd be frustrating because there's just these little like if someone shoots a gun at the exact point that you're jumping down, like you instantly die or something stupid or yeah, you and jump yeah, on a, like, sky, a spike or whatever. If you're just playing like normal. Yeah. And you, you're doing a normal jump from this platform to this platform. Yeah. They'll kill you because they know this is a normal path. Yeah. <laughs> and then you get there and you wait and then you jump and that's how you get past that point. Right. Yeah. They'll just, it just keeps doing that the whole game. Yeah. Yeah. And it's yeah, just yeah. like, I'm it's repetitive. I'm progressing through the game, um, but I'm annoyed that I have to keep dying in order to progress it's because like, cause I have to learn the the, the pattern. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. It sounds shitty when I say it out no. loud, but but I know what you mean. Yeah. I mean it's kind of like Crash Bandicoot too. Like yeah, in the same exact sense. That's true. Some of this stuff was just really shysty, though. What they did, like the exact platform that you had to jump on, would drop. So or whatever. Some <laughs> of the thought behind that, I think, is you know games were unable to fit on like cartridges and discs like they could only fit so much yeah so they had to make it tougher so it could last longer yeah that's true i guess so see that. you know you would get your money's worth because you know games have always been expensive yeah yeah for sure so on like a little shitty nintendo cartridge back in the day you had like eight kilobytes or yeah. 16 <laughs> kilobytes or something <laughs> of storage and you had to figure out a way to make it last, last. Yeah. yeah that's true um speaking of lasting and playership um playership huh yeah i see here you've got something about PUBG. oh PUBG, what have you done i don't know you know what i'm gonna tell all of our viewers to just stop playing the game and i think that'll oh. amount to like 50 percent probably what do you think <laughs> <laughs> does that include you yeah <laughs> includes you. <laughs> um but i read up on this too tell me about it what did you see so there's a couple things here um, PUBG 
and his parent company are taking Epic Games, who makes Fortnite, mm-hmm. to court. Yep. Yep. Over basically, you copied our game style. Because apparently, last July is when Fortnite came out, but it w- didn't have this Battle Royale mode. It didn't. It had tower defense. And then I guess they were like, oh, well, let's make it Battle Royale as well as an expansion, a free expansion. Yep. And they made it free to play. Yep. And then it exploded. Like, and all you hear about is Fortnite, and I don't hear anything about PUBG anymore. No, you don't. It came out on Xbox One and then died entirely yep. across everywhere. Yep. So, I don't know if you can, like, <laughs> win a case because you say... Our, our this, game this is less that, popular. Yeah. This guy copied the the style of game. Yeah. Not the game. Right. I and mean, is that kind of how you feel? No, totally. I mean, I, I remember when this whole, like, suing potential thing came out, and then it kind of died because PUBG was doing really well. Because at first, like, they were saying, like, oh, we're going to sue Fortnite. And then they kind of just dropped off and forgot about it. Oh, really? Suing. I didn't yeah. know they did that. And they came out with a new map. PUBG came out with a new map, came out with new stuff, new weapons, and then people were kind of picking back up again, being like, oh, this is this is tight. And then Fortnite just dropped the bomb of like, oh, we're going to come out with all this new content. And they just took over the whole game. On the cell phones and everything. Yeah. And I don't know. You know, what's what's even more ironic is that PUBG and Fortnite both run on the Unreal Engine. It's like they're suing themselves, essentially. <laughs> so I don't know. It just kind of it kind of bums me out that they can't both just coexist in some way and they have to like have these petty arguments or whatever well it's not the same so the unreal engine is made by epic games yeah and PUBG runs on that right but they license it sure so it's they pay epic games x amount of money to use the the engine engine but yeah it's, it's weird though but you know you know what i mean they're like suing I, I guess they're suing the the guys that they're paying to. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. They're suing the guys they're paying. <laughs> right. Already. Yeah. <laughs> Already. Yeah. That makes sense. I was, yeah. Uh, sorry. I just sorry. I had to clear it. Yeah. Clear the air. <sighs> <laughs> Jerry let out a mouth fart. Uh. <laughs> um, but in addition to that. Yeah. Um, since January. So that's. Well, almost six months. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, PUBG playership has fallen off half, fifty yeah, percent. Yeah, really bad. Which is a, horrible. It's a lot. Of and I'm, I'm wondering if that's why they're back to starting up the, the lawsuit. Yeah. To be like shit. Yeah, we're dying. That's exactly it. I mean, th- th- that's just the that's irony crazy. in all of it. It's like they're. They had like traction, so then they kind of forgot about the lawsuit, and then they lost traction. Now they're like, "Oh well, 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 what are we gonna do? We need to just just continue suing them." I know it's really it's awkward, it's cringeworthy. I think. I feel like you would just try to improve your game at that point. Yeah, like, like I don't know, start yeah. start innovating some to bring people to your side, make yep. it cheaper. I mean. Yeah, thirty bucks to to play that game, and it's not even a finished game at this point still. Okay, see that's and that's the problem. Then yeah, that's the problem you. that they've always had to. It's always been like in beta, basically. I've played it, and there's just always been something that was glitching, or always something that was just like, oh well, that's a known issue, and we're they're addressing it, but we just kind of have to yeah. like do like a, a workaround for it. It it's it's stupid. Um, yeah, so that's when. Fortnite stepped in and was like, okay, I mean, we've got this game that's complete. And yeah, and you know, Epic Games is like a much larger game huge. production company. As, so. as opposed to Hello Games. Right. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. they have the ability to yeah. churn out bug fixes and patches and shit. T- totally. And updates like the, but, like the Infinity Gauntlet and all that shit. But that's the thing. PUBG... Instead of fixing the bugs, they kept on saying, like, oh, we're fixing these things. But at the same time, we're releasing a new map and new vehicles. And, oh, and new weapons. Oh, and you can add a skin that you can buy for your guns and stuff. And it's like, wait, 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 wait. Before you start adding skins and all that crap to the guns, because 
we don't care about that. Why, why don't you fix the issue where players are glitching from one side of the map to the other? Or, yeah, I mean, or where structures are like totally glitched out. They're, they're like not addressing things that are pre like already existing. They're just trying to like continue to add stuff on and their laundry list, their backlog is getting huge. It sounds like, so it's like building a house on a shit foundation. Yeah. And they just keep piling shit on top of this foundation. But in the end, the foundation is what matters. Yep. So, uh, uh. yeah. Is it free to play? It's not. It's 30 bucks. PC and everything? Yeah. So it's a one-time 30 buck fee? One-time 30 buck fee. I don't know what it is for Xbox. I think it's a normal Xbox price. It's probably 50, but, 60 bucks. But that's the thing. that Even the Xbox game is not complete. See, that's weird because <laughs> consoles are typically like, you know. Complete products. In a box. Ready to go. Yeah. PC is where you And all you have to do is a... maybe push updates or right. whatever, but not fix it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so... Yeah, that's where Fortnite is just dominating right now. That's what you freaking get, dude. Yeah! PUBG. <laughs> that's what you freaking get. Player unknown battlegrounds. Oh, man. Yeah, let's go into uh, some, some... Some tech? Some tech. Some tech, man. Yeah! Welcome to the tech world. Uh, yeah! <laughs> Did you know? No. Um. Ooh. Yeah, lip smack. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there is some leakage about the upcoming Apple oh. conference, <laughs> let WWDC. Me, let me get a microfiber cloth to clean up that leakage. <laughs> <laughs> My dog is staring at me. <laughs> like, um, Eddie, just ignore him. <laughs> but yeah, there's some leakage about the new iOS 12 or the upcoming iOS 12. IOS, 12. Oh my god. Oh my. iOS 12 yeah. update is going to come with finally third party availability for developing for the NFC chip. Ooh. So NFC is near field communications. That's what you use to do Apple Pay yeah. and you know anything tap communication yeah. related. Mm-hmm. So um, mostly just Apple Pay. Maybe. Yeah, I guess I was thinking back with Android. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's more you could do with that. Android. <laughs> <laughs> Is it iPhone? Is, Is it, it Android? Android? <laughs> Is it iPhone or motherfucking Android? <laughs> Yo, pop that ass. <clears throat> um, but yeah, so with iOS 11, Apple started making the development kit available for the NFC, but they are not. They didn't open it up t- for apps. To be developed they for it. To launch it, yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. So with 12, they're going to release that. Nice. Okay. So. I saw an article where they were already setting up kind of the decorations for the com- conference location. Oh. T- for WWDC. So I'm assuming, you know, we'll probably see some like posters in regards to the new iOS. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Kind of highlighting some of those features you were talking about. Yeah. And it's a cool idea. What, th- what this article is saying is, um, you know. You're gonna start seeing things like hotel keys, Ugh, integrated. In oh my god! Being you know kept on your phone. Yeah. So like you tap your phone to the you know hotel. Yeah. Key registration board at the desk, and then you just. That's awesome. And people were talking about um, right now uh, like our pro- proxy cards that we used to use. Mm-hmm. HID is um, HID Global is the company, and they're. They've traditionally done that kind of stuff for companies all for sure forever. So Apple's been working with them to try to figure out a way to just incorporate that information into your phone. So you just tap, huge. tap your phone as like a proxy card instead of a card card. That's huge, actually. And and I was thinking also like Metro. Yeah. You know? So anything contactless. Yeah. Uh, like the soda vending machines. Yeah. Or, you know. Don't have to pull out your credit card. Yeah. That's amazing. It's it's uh. There's like a huge space for advancement in like tap to pay. The the only thing is security. Is, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, you could argue that it's more secure than like buying something over the internet because sure. you have to be there in person to make the purchase. Yeah, still that's true. But you know, like with um, you know, every once in a while around here, you see a report on the local news about um somebody putting a credit card skimmer in a gas station. Yeah pump thing so like could somebody do that put their own reader between the metro reader and your phone you know what i mean and get even more data than just a single card right yeah that's scary 
I don't know, just something to think about. Just take care of that, will you? Okay. Actually, that's funny. It's I'll create an action every item. Time, every time I get an action item, and then we'll discuss <laughs> them at the end. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Jerry's got the... A task uh, list. Ta- <laughs> we'll go ahead and circle back on that later. We'll review the meeting notes. <laughs> yes. Or the minutes later. Um, <laughs> I, don't, the, I don't know why they call them minutes. Remember the that lady where she's like, your wait time is 17 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> on the phone thing. <laughs> um. That was at the the disappointing place. Yeah. <laughs> what was I think? Where was I? What was I saying? Um, action item and minutes and stuff like that. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> I was saying, I'm kind of like paranoid about the credit card skimming thing at the gas yeah. station. So when I go there, I like I like fiddle with the slot to see if it's Do you? Sh- <laughs> to see if it's like shaky. Yeah. Because that's what they say. They say if it's like loose at all, if it's not firm, then there's a chance that it was like tampered with yeah interesting it's so, interesting i mean they like take off the whole face though yeah i don't so it's hard to tell yeah they just say to do that so i do it so if you ever stalk me and you, i took a gas station you'll see me go like <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> we cool we cool right. yeah <laughs> no problems here it's okay it's okay <laughs> Oh, I but that, that's cool, man. Like, uh, I'm sure the same will be f- the same for Android as well. And oh yeah, for sure. Really NFC related. Do you think Android would come out with it first? <sighs> you know, because they're usually so, on so, the, so, the cusp of these things. So I think Android already um, has something kind of like has the ability to just read like third party NFC tags. Yeah, you can buy like excuse me a sheet of like NFC tags. Oh no way! On like Amazon and like you know. They're perforated, and you can stick it on something. Really? Yeah. That's cool. So, like, let me see here. Let me pull it up. Jeopardy music. La, la, la. (laughs) NFC tags. Yeah. Yeah, so, like. Okay, okay. So, you, you know, if you... I don't know, inventory tracking or like, oh, like they're literally like a sticker. No way. And you just, you put it on. Yeah. That is crazy. Yeah. And then, you know, when you go by, you contact and it gives you the information. Literally buy 10, 25 or 50 pack for starting, you know. It's way cheap actually. It's cheaper than I I thought it would be, honestly. (laughs) That's crazy. Yeah. So, I mean, like. The technology is there. So people like, I was reading about this guy. He he had this thing where it was like a USB NFC reader. Yeah. So like, let's see. And his phone also had infrared. Mm Mm-hmm. Like a lot of LG phones have that. So when he put his phone on his bed stand when he went to bed next to his head, yeah, it would turn his TV on automatically <laughs> and like do a couple of other things. Oh my god! <laughs> and it would like turn his computer on, yeah, because it had like wake on LAN capabilities. So I don't know. It's just Jeez. if you're willing to tinker with it, it's like really cool. That is, you can neat. make like a a digital Rube Goldberg. That's really cool. You know what I mean? Like yeah. A whole like chain of events. If you, I wonder, does it? Well, that's interesting. I wonder if it could tie to like lamps and stuff. Like if you put the phone down, then your lamp turns off, and like I guarantee you, there's a way to do it because it ties to the plug that's in the wall, which is tying to a wireless lamp or thing, <laughs> or maybe it, something with the Wi-Fi and like one of those Wi-Fi lamps, like the Philips Hue. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, oh, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Philips Hue bowl. Yeah, maybe it just skips the whole wall in the plug that's and just goes directly crazy. to the light bulb. You know, that's nuts. I don't know. There, there's you can do anything really. That's cool. Yeah, it's neat. It's really neat. So, um, let's get into some more tech stuff. Are you sure? Yeah, I am too. <laughs> so, what do you know about Bitcoin? I know Bitcoin that. I know that almost four years ago, I almost invested in Bitcoin, and I kind of wished that I had. I mean, you know, I'm one of those subjects that was like yeah well i was gonna drop like maybe like a 100 bucks but like at the time i was like that's just not enough to invest but like now i could have had yeah. a crap ton of money that's yeah, whatever hindsight yeah hindsight's 2020 um i know that it's not secure i know that it's still kind of a gamble and i know that secure in that like your money's worth your money or secure in that like you'll get hacked you can get hacked there's no security to it like it's not there's no 
there's no insurance. There's no insurance, no. So, because yeah. it's not, it's not, it's not a, like a. It's not managed, like E-Trade. It's not a, it's not a managed yeah. currency. So right, right, right. It relies on everyone else that's doing Bitcoin to yeah. keep it stable. And and so far recently, it's kind of been on the decline. So, yeah, yeah. Which is scary to see from what it what it was where it was on the news and stuff at like twenty thousand or something. It was, it was insane. Something stupid per coin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got one coin. Yeah. <laughs> Twenty thousand dollars. Yeah, it's insane. <laughs> and then now it's down to like seven K per coin or something like that. What a shithole. It's stupid. It makes me so mad. <laughs> so when you mine Bitcoin, yeah. basically your computer is solving a math problem. Yeah. And once you figure it out, What's the deal? Bitcoin, you... seven seven thousand four hundred seventy four dollars for one Bitcoin. For one, from yeah, but it's down twenty percent. It looks like right, yeah, seventeen percent. Yeah, it's insane. I'm it gonna do insane. one year, and it, it literally hit nineteen thousand, and it's down to seven now. Yeah, hey, it's crazy, <laughs> but it's star- like, dude, back in twenty seventeen, it was, it was like two thousand bucks. To buy one Bitcoin? To buy one Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah, and and when I was thinking about it was back in 2014 when it was about $363. Wow. Imagine if I had invested 1000 bucks, Or 363 Or 363 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'd be up 19600 Yeah, 19 Shit. Yeah. Yeah. So sorry. Keep going. Uh, that's all right. Yeah. Um, so when you mine Bitcoin, you solve this very complex math problem yeah. that once you crack it, you finally you add to your what's called a blockchain, mm-hmm. and the blockchain is part of what makes the engine of Bitcoin go, and you've become part of the network worldwide of Bitcoin. Yeah. It's kind of confusing to me, but very. So people were creating these servers and using, you know, super high-end microprocessors to gaming processors too. I'll get to that. Yeah, but like like CPU, like a Core i7 servers, yeah, 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 yeah. Core Xeons. Yeah, and they were like, man, we got to pump this shit up. But then people were starting to discover that um, graphics cards, GPUs, yep. are excellent at mining Bitcoin because mm-hmm. they were able to take on a lot more instruction. And it was explained to me. Well, I was when I was reading, they said they're more of like a slave processor versus a uh, CPU. Yeah, because a CPU is like a manager and executive of sure. the entire computer. So he has to make changes and decisions and this and that accordingly. Yeah, but the GPU is just has one job and he just does it over and over and over and over again. Yeah. So oh, that's crazy. Yeah. To put it in that perspective, I never yeah, it was a really that. good analogy. Yeah. When they explained it. Um, and that's hence why the GPU prices have been crazy. Probably. And, and thank you, Steph. She bought me a 1070 Ti <sighs> off of Mass Drop, though. I'll have you know. So we did pay a lot less because so many people went on the went in went in on the Mass Drop. Uh-huh. Have you heard of Mass Drop? No. Mass Drop is a site where let's say you want to buy like a computer, and it's fifteen hundred bucks. They say if we can get over. Um, 70 people to put in for this this computer will drop the price down to 900 bucks. So if 70 people offer to buy it at offer that price, to buy it at that price, then they'll drop the price down to 900 bucks and then you can buy the product type deal. Interesting. So they get a commitment of X amount of sales. Yeah. And then they're like, "We'll reward you with $100 off or whatever." Yeah. And so like I and mean, and I probably am not explaining it the best way but that makes sense but basically um i got that for my gpu my 1070 nvidia geforce 1070 ti and uh titanium edition yeah (laughs) it is (laughs) um and i got it for she got it for me for a really good deal um for christmas so um props to mass drop on that but what i'm what my point is is that had i had we not found that deal on mass drop, the graphics cards were either all sold out at freaking micro center or online. They were like double the price of what it should have been. So on NVIDIA's site, it's four fifty. Sure. And they limit you two per customer. Yeah. And and they were setting limits. I mean, it was one per customer for a while. 
I mean, people were trying to figure that out too. So yeah, where I'm going with all this is that Asus has made a crypto mining motherboard specifically for this reason mm-hmm. with support for up to 20 graphics processing units. Okay. GPUs. That's insane. That is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot. I mean, I've come from like, you know, SLIing two NVIDIA cards. I've never even heard of three in a mm-hmm. in a computer. I mean, but if you look at the picture here, it's got literally 20 USB 3.0 ports all right on the motherboard. No way. And I'll put a picture up of that. It's insane. <laughs> I've never Holy seen anything like, like, my, like that in my life. Crap, dude. You see that? <laughs> What the heck? Right? And if you scroll down, it comes with this utility that has like a status of each wow. each port. And what was working and what's not working. Yep. Or aired out or whatever. Holy crap. It's crazy. It's like designed specifically for this. So. 20 GPUs, dude? Yeah. 20 graphics cards. That's expensive. Yeah. <laughs> but if, I mean, if you're dealing in Bitcoin these days, I guess you got to, I guess you'll have enough money to. I guess. I don't know. Whatever. I don't ask questions. I feel like this is going to, like... Like, break Bitcoin? Uh, yeah. That I kind feel, of stuff? I, I, yeah. I feel like it's going to saturate the market. Because so many people will get this, and then so many people are doing the same thing. Well, the idea is that... So the problems get harder and harder, right? Yeah. As more people get into the market. So... Oh, I'm sorry. No, oh, I don't know what that was. <laughs> <laughs> so as more and more people get into the market it gets harder and harder to get bitcoin so i guess the idea is that only a few people will have this monster machine but as more people get the monster machine the, the problems will just get harder yeah i guess to mine you yeah know? so this is to give you a leg up temporarily i guess yeah this is just crazy until the next step and it literally <laughs> like it never ends like the you know it says mining master like like you said it's solely made for this purpose can you imagine playing a game with this? <laughs> <laughs> no, because it'd be like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> constantly with all the fans. Oh man, I can't even imagine like a a freaking box that would fit this. I yeah, I don't know how. It yeah, would where do work. you where do you put this? <laughs> uh, it might be one of those like just open yeah, PCs. Open, yeah. Open, so open it'll probably in. be around four hundred, five hundred bucks. Insane. It is insane, man. That's Just for that. But you have to account for a $400, $500 GPU. If you're going <laughs> big time <laughs> yeah. GPU, yeah. <laughs> and why wouldn't you, you know? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you, guess, maybe yeah. you start with mid-range and move up or yeah, yeah, yeah. get half and half. I don't know. Yep. That's interesting. That's really cool. Yeah. I, I learned a lot more about Bitcoin. Are you gonna? Are you interested in Bitcoin? Have you thought not about it? Not at all. No, not at all. <laughs> I don't give a shit. <laughs> I, I don't care about stocks. I mean, like there's in, in normal stock. There's some kid out there. I know that he was on the news and he made a lot of money on Bitcoin. I'm gonna make my money on YouTube, son. Yeah, dude. That YT life. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> that YT life. <laughs> Let's continue it on on tech. What um, up? talking about a lot of numbers of tech things so what do you get when you take 950 drones and you fly them up in the air uh, artwork uh, artwork <laughs> so no i've seen like people yeah, at the olympics uh, right 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 yeah right. and that's where i saw this and i forgot about that until i saw this article so cool i love it was that. super cool so we're obviously in the age of tech and the age of drones and um <laughs> sorry <laughs> like that Sing. it's like an anime move <laughs> Yeah. Technology. Um so basically Time magazine, they're really famous for their super interesting covers and stuff like that. Um not of Donald Trump though. No, no. He was never on it. No. Even though it's up in his golf club. I know. That's hilarious. Awkward. Not to get political. <laughs> um and and usually they're really controversial or, or whatever. I mean, they just make some interesting covers for their magazine. Um this time around they made their magazine cover out of 958 drones. Oh, so this is an actual that they flew picture. Yeah, it's an actual picture. So, if you go through the the article, it literally shows kind of their plan of how they had to fly them, kind of what they, how many feet oh, up in the cool. air. Oh, cool. Yeah, and um, this was kind of at like sunset, so they had to do it at the perfect time. They also couldn't reach a 
a limit as far as how high they could fly all these drones. Um, and additionally, it's just kind of like intriguing because it's like putting all of these little things together to make this kind of, you know, iconic image. So I mean, it was huge. It's massive. It was uh, over 400 feet tall. So yeah, yeah. And and they they accomplished it. And on the cover, it's really neat. It says time with the border and everything. And it says just the, like normal yeah. the drone age. And then it has a little arrow, which I thought was really cheeky. It was like one of 958 illuminated drones. <laughs> above, <laughs> yeah, above California, on, at, California at this time. 31 p.m. on May 3rd. And if you watch the video, you can actually see a few of the drones kind of like spazzing out because so, they're trying to communicate with the other drones. So you can see it like yeah. on, on the top of the T. Yep, there's one there's flying like one off. Ran, one rando like, fuck this. Yep, and then you see one down kind of in the bottom right. It's a white one that kind of got out of line. It's right. Yeah, there's a gap. To the left of the text. Yeah. I mean, it's not perfect, but it, it it's just... It's still impressive. Yeah, it's the idea. It's cool. They have a picture from, like, the side. Yeah. Yep. And it's cool. It's like... It's a 2D image. Yeah. In a 3D world. In I don't a 3D know, like, space, yeah. Like, yeah. It's super cool. And and at first, they kind of made it so that the, the word time was kind of, like, dusting away. You can kind of see it there. Um, but then they made it so it just says time in, like, actual just plain text. This is cool. Yeah. So for me, I was like, this is so sick. Oh, and this is the kicker. Not only did they take the photo, but they took the photo with another drone. I was just going to say, I just watched this 13 second video of, I wonder if we can, do you think we can play that on this? That'd be cool. While we're talking about it? Like a little, yeah, a little. If we're we're commentating on it, right? For sure. No, no. There's no problems with that? No, no. Um, You'll see there's one last drone that they use and they're filming behind the drone as yeah. they go through the time logo that they've created. Yes. And it's so, it's, it's super rad. It's so rad. Yeah. It's insane. I mean, I just, I saw this and I was like, I've got to talk about this because it's just what they've done is amazing. Well, and these, these drones aren't the small little, nope. Little guys these are big. that I thought they were. These are big, but big if this boys. thing is, if this is a hundred meters tall, then yeah, I mean, those are like normal drones. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be so expensive. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can even see cars driving by and stuff, and you gotta imagine like someone living yeah, near the neighborhood, like, like what? Whoa. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> yeah. So, um, props to Time for always keeping it like innovative. You know, they're always doing something different. Um, wow, this is crazy, man. I'm, uh, there's there's a whole like behind the scenes. Yep. video yep and show you the software they're using to yep create i mean it. they even had like ibm there and they had touch screens and stuff like that yeah um it's really impressive i mean they had like someone saying three two one launch the drones and you just hear this you feel like it should be yeah or maybe the uh the bumblebee yeah <laughs> yeah exactly those those types of songs and I mean, like, how do you, what do you do if one of them knocks into the other one? But I mean, I guess they're programmed to not do that, you know? I mean, yeah, you got to like, it's the like, set, it's just like setting up dominoes, you know? Yeah. You just got to trust that it's, yeah. the, trust the process as the Philly people say with the 76ers. So in our notes here, I had to take the time to like make the word time in red amongst the black time. text. Yeah. <laughs> in red. In red. In red. In Rojo like Greg's shoit. Is this red? I no, feel like this is no, a hot no, peach. No, no, no. It's like a hot peach. I'd say a hot peach with a hint of toasty red. Like like um like Mike like Mike and Ike reds? <laughs> yeah. Wait, what are those called? Red hots. Red hots. Yeah. Really? Hey bud. Yeah. They're just called red hots. Okay, yeah. red hots. I don't like them, but I don't either. Yeah. I don't care. I'm a doctor. What are you talking about? <laughs> don't pretend. <laughs> I'm a doctor too. I I'm a doctor too. Who cares? Yeah. <laughs> Tim uh, and Eric, awesome show, uh, or whatever. Uh, check it out, with Steve Brule. Uh, t- Steve Brule, yeah. Yes. So, yeah, this has been a lot of tech, a lot of games, and I mean, it's what you come here for, right? It is what you come here for. We told you this in the beginning. We said it's it's in the podcast description. You knew about this going in. You did. Hopefully, this time we've got some interesting stuff for you to see. Um, if not, try and bear with us. We're still working through it. Um, oh, we should have done it live. Ah, yeah, we should have done it live. We needed to try that. 
But how can you? Although, do how do you do it with the phone? A green it? screen and stuff too. Or the, with the phone, yeah. You can do it on the phone. I mean, that's how people do Facebook Live, YouTube Live. Yeah, true. You know. Yeah, there won't be any post production shit then. Yeah, that's exactly. Or there'll be two versions. Two versions, one that doesn't have any, and then yeah, <laughs> we'll just be in front of a green screen. We'll be like. <laughs> As you can see, the weather in Topeka, <laughs> Kansas. Hey, tornadoes! <laughs> that sounded like Mater from Cars. <laughs> hey, I was about to tell you some tornadoes. <laughs> honk, honk. Look, Eddie's like, who oh, is there you cable guy. Who is this? You're not. Hey, Eddie, how are you? <laughs> Come here, son. Atta boy. Atta boy. Hop on up. Come on. Hey, come on. <laughs> Come on, Papa Belly. Up. Come on. Up. Hey. It's like, no, I don't. I don't. Eddie, please. Come on up. I don't know All you. Right, go away. I don't know you. You know me. <laughs> I'm Pete. Oh, really? I'm, yeah, I'm Pete. I sit for gold. You sound like the guy from Men in Black. He's like, sugar, water. Sugar, water. I don't sound like that. This sounds like that. <laughs> it's like all twitchy. He talks like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I love he's like, like <laughs> he puts his hand in someone's face yeah. too. He's just like, "Don't talk to me." Did you ever see uh, <laughs> um, the Daredevil series on Netflix? No, did you ever watch that? Oh, no, okay. is it good? The guy, yeah, it's good. The guy who okay. plays the guy who plays Kingpin, um, the bad guy is that guy. Oh, he's, he's a, that actor. Okay. Absolutely different role. So it's really oh. great. It's really weird to see, <laughs> like super serious, super low key. Weird, interesting. <sighs> Oh, I meant to tell you. Hook it up. You reminded me. Uh, Steph and I saw Deadpool 1 for the very first time. Oh, really? I didn't know yes. you hadn't seen it. No, we hadn't seen it. And it was good. It was actually hilarious. It? I thought Steph wasn't going to like it because it was pretty gory and just raw. But Yeah, but it's like goofy enough to like offset that. That is exactly what she said. She was like, yeah, but it was funny enough to like make it okay. Yeah. So it was tolerable to her, yeah. and I was like, "Yes, now we can see the second one." Yeah, even though it's been out for two weeks. I'm right, we're going. To, we're going to see it tomorrow night. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know when we're going to see. You see an Alamo? Yeah. Okay. Seven forty tomorrow night. Oh, you already you got tickets. If you want to go? Yeah, we'll we'll see if there's <laughs> seats left. Yeah, we actually might. Oh man, I'm ah! stoked! Did you see? And and again, we're kind of at the end of this, but I wanted to touch on another thing. Sorry, right. Han Solo, the Solo a Star Wars movie. Did you see it? No, we saw it, and and we were actually impressed. I went in, I went into the movie not expecting anything. Oh boy. Okay. Oh boy. But I went in, I went out, saying that it's right up there with Rogue One, and Solo. So those two are better than the last, the Last Jedi. Or whatever, the last main storyline movie. Yeah, I think it was. Okay. Yeah. See, I don't even remember. I think it's called the Last Jedi. Yeah. Yeah. Star Wars: yeah. The Last Jedi. See, that's yeah. how I forget. Like, it wasn't good to me. It wasn't good. Rogue One was better than that movie. I liked Rogue One a lot. I did too. And then Solo was right up there with Rogue One. So I would recommend okay. seeing it. All right. Um. It, it was dope. Oh gosh, how was um, Donald Glover as Lando? Really good. And I was actually, again, I was like, okay, I mean, it's Donald Glover. Like, how can he make himself sound like This Lando? is America. Yeah. And that's all I could think of <laughs> when I saw him. But he actually did a really good job of kind of having some nuances, just like the Lando in the older Star Wars. Like doing this kind of like. Yeah, just <laughs> weird. And then same with Han Solo. Like the character, there was things that I was listening to him say. And I was like, you know, that's pretty much what Harrison Ford would sound like if he was younger. Oh, crap. It's good. It's really good. So, check it out. Let us know what you guys think of those yeah, those movies, especially Deadpool 1 since it just came out. Just kidding. Well, we just we just watched it again. <laughs> Did just, you? Just to, like, prepare. It was good. It's been a while since I saw it. It was really good. I, I liked it. Yeah, it was good. He's freaking ripped, dude. Yeah. He's ripped. And that's definitely him in the suit as well. Yeah. He's talking about how like, he wears the suit and stuff. It's impressive. It's seriously impressive. But anyway, I digress. No, it's all right. Yeah. Movies. Movies. Um, There was something I was going to see, but I don't remember. No. Oh, and movies? that's okay. Movies. Solo. Star Wars. Last Jedi. No. <laughs> I lost it. Whatever. I lost it. Whatever. You sound like one of the characters from... The Britain. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, do us a favor. Hit that subscribe button. If you're yeah. not, I know you are already. But Like, subscribe, and, and hit the bell. The for, bell is big. For notifications. That's a new yeah. one that people are asking for, so I'm going to get on that bandwagon. Did, did you hit the bell? Did you? That's how you got the notification that I posted up our last video, right? It's... I'll say yeah. <laughs> I'll say yes. We'll say yes. <laughs> I'll say yes to the draft. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes, queen. $30,000 to spend on a wedding dress. Uh. <laughs> Don't be too basic. Don't be too basic. But yeah, check us out. Yeah. We're on social medias at JPEG Podcast. Yep. We got our website going. Um, JPEGpodcast.com. Yep. And you know, um, Facebook. Yeah, hit us up on YouTube. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and uh, hit the bell for notifications. Chief Commander needs needs you. Chief Commander. That got me rolling was, so many it times. Good. It was good. <laughs> uh, I'm Greg. I'm Jerry. And uh, we'll catch you next week. All right. See ya. <laughs>